We're very excited about taking our team to Puerto Rico as part of our preparation for the competition part of our season. Um, most of the boys have never been to Puerto Rico. Some of them haven't been on a plane. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun um, for our group. Why Puerto Rico? So part of what we're trying to do um, is to prepare the guys by making sure that they face really tough competition before we get into the competition part of the season um, here in New Jersey. Um, Puerto Rico has a long history of volleyball. Uh, you know, the, the average player in Puerto Rico starts playing when they're like five or six years of age, which means that by the time they are 15, 16, they have a lot of volleyball experience. So the volleyball IQ is quite high. There is a lot of athleticism in the players. And even though most of them are not quite as tall as what you would find um, on this side of, uh, of the world, um, they can play. And so for us to be able to go down there and play against some really high level teams, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We see volleyball as a global community. And, and our approach to it is to make sure that we help players connect with other players from all over. So we have, um, because we've been in the business for such a long time, we've been in volleyball for such a long time, over 30 years, um, that, that means that we have great friends and contacts in just about anywhere. Part of our, our objective here is to make sure that our players uh, at every level, it doesn't matter how, how old or how experienced you are, have the opportunity to connect with volleyball players from across the globe. And because of our um, relationships in the, in, the, uh, in the sport of volleyball throughout all these years, we have the opportunity to do that so that the experience is far more important than only what happens on the court. What happens off the court is, um, is also very long lasting and can really help young people open up their minds and, and broaden their perspectives. And I think the world these days needs more than at any other time, um, people who are more connected to one another as opposed to divided you know, by conflict. Legends Volleyball Club is one of the best um, and most competitive uh, clubs, uh, junior clubs in Puerto Rico. Um, it was formed by a, a couple of friends of mine. One of them um, is uh, Victor Vitito Rivera, and uh, and Vitito um, is you know one of the best players ever to come out of Puerto Rico. Mentioning his name in Puerto Rico is um, it's pretty much synonymous with excellence in volleyball. Um, a fierce competitor, he was a standout at Lewis University in Chicago um, in his NCAA years. Um, then went on to play professionally um, all over the world in different leagues, um, and just excellence in everything he does. Um, his club legends um, is uh, is going to be um, also outfitted in BB Rags gear this coming season. So it's going to be a lot of fun for us to see them wearing our gear. Um, from our product line um, side um, and you know I haven't seen him in a real long time so you know just seeing him again is gonna be a lot of fun and um, his son Lorenzo is one of the best prospects in Puerto Rico so we'll, we'll be have ha we'll be having to play against him um, he's an outside hitter who can also set um, it's gonna be a lot of fun for us it's almost like a like a family reunion of sorts for me um, for our guys, it should be a lot of fun to play against really high level competition. Um, a club that is, uh, that is uh, all about excellence and, um, and that's, you know, that's, that's how we roll. That's exactly what we're looking for. Madame del Valle is going to be coaching our beach practice on the second day um, for our group. Madame has, uh, has also a long track record of excellence in volleyball. He's, he was one of the first Puerto Ricans ever to play professionally, both indoor and on the beach. Um, also a close friend of mine for many, many years. As a matter of fact, um, between him and some of the other um, standout players from Puerto Rico, BB Rax created the very first junior volleyball, junior beach volleyball training academy, or at least one of the, the first, if not the first one, then the second one in Puerto Rico many years ago. Um, so we've been working with Madamo um, for a long time and, um, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for, for the guys to meet him and, um, and, and work with, uh, with a guy who's pretty much a legend um, in Puerto Rican beach volleyball. 
He also played professional indoor volleyball, so he knows of the sport inside out. Um, and he's a wealth of knowledge in the sport. So it should be a lot of fun uh, for them and for me. So come to think of it, this trip really is all about legends. Because if you think about Vitito, he's very much a legend uh, as far as uh, all that has to do with Puerto Rican volleyball. Um, and then you look at Madamo del Valle, he's another Puerto Rican legend. Um, so, you know, being hosted down there by Legends Volleyball Club just seems to be very fitting for our trip. So maybe that's the theme of the trip. You know, Team BB Rags, Dick's Puerto Rico, and it's Legends. So, something along those lines. Pretty early morning, we woke up at what, 4 a.m., I think? And then we flew for like four hours to, to Puerto Rico, San Juan, and we landed at like 12. Cool, honestly, I thought I was going to be nervous, and then once I got there, I wasn't nervous at all. I, I definitely wish I could see out the window, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, like landing, it looked really cool. Hot. I'm gonna oh, wait. Yeah. When we reached there and went downstairs, straight hot. It was very hot. Like it was like boiling heat type hot. It was very hot immediately, and I was sweating. And I had to change from my pants to my shorts. I think we were straight to the house. The house is beautiful. This beautiful um, building that we called our home for three days. Like we had like five rooms, a pool house, um, pool house, a um, pool table, and a um, and a pool. It was like oh, that was pool. Big, yeah, that was a lot of pool. After that, when we went to, to the house, we went to get something to, something to eat, right? Oh, oh the waterfront, yeah. that was beautiful. We, oh yeah. my god. Oh, the restaurant? Oh, you, you yeah, no, nah, outside of the restaurant was like cool because it was like the first time we saw like any of the ocean or even went into a restaurant. The ocean was pretty cool to look at. We saw a coconut on the ground when we first got there. It was the first time I've seen the actual coconut. Some delicious food, I got some good views in. We all got rice and chicken. <laughs> yeah, we all got rice and chicken, that was funny. <laughs> After we went home, we like, put our stuff down 
and we got like we got our minds right for the tournament or for the for the scrimmages we had that night. The way they were playing yet is a lot different than mm -hmm. where we play, and I think that was really cool that even even that they still play, you could tell that they're out there playing all the time. Um, the competition in Puerto Rico is like a lot higher than in New Jersey. I, I was really surprised because they were shorter than us, and I didn't really know how they played because you can't tell them the warm ups how they can play. That's only hitting. Once we got in the game, they could all hit well. They were all passing well. They were all setting well. It was it was really hard because no there are like no teams that we play against that are able to do all of that, and it was it was a challenge, but it was it was cool to see and play against. Honestly, they're like really good. We played the 17, 17 legends and the 16 U legends. It's one of the toughest uh, clubs in like Puerto Rico. After the uh, scrimmages, felt so relaxing. Take a nice swim with the boys, and yeah, had some great chicken fights. Ch had there. some great chicken fights. Yeah, my professional doggy paddle. You are. I was swimming. You are. I did a. I was wilding. You are. Just some chill playing with the guys. You are. So yeah.
Oh yeah, the trick the shot. shot. Yeah, yeah. So like we we try to do this um. Like this that. sort of thing like on TikTok or whatever, like the people around a pool that they like, set a ball or something and like like the last person has to like spike it down or something. Goes across again, steps it across the pool, boom. Okay. Just throw it like, okay. like you're gonna so do this, it. this, no, this. Anyway. Okay, wait, let's throw it how we're gonna do it. Yeah, throw it, throw it, throw it. So, boom, so you side. So, so you throw it to him, you throw it across. You throw it to him, you throw it to him. Now you go across to Aiden, throw it across. Goes to Adam, you Goes to the end. Yeah, Adam, you should be the last one. It took us like 20 minutes to like yeah. even get to the end, but yeah. it still looked awful. But, yeah, but Adriana didn't believe in us, and she did Yeah, no one us. believed in us, but we did, and yeah. we did it. I, I, record, I recorded like the first 15 tries. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put the we got on the 16th try. Fine. Yeah.